N5ZY here, and I bought myself an SDR Play RSP2 some time back, and was um, playing with it on the HF bands, and uh, the idea was to use it as a pan adapter, and the more I toyed around with the RSP2, the more excited I got about possibly opening up my radio and placing the SDR's antenna type input into the IF stage of the radio so that I could use it as a pan adapter for my radio and whatever band my radio is on. So I did quite a bit of research and I found out that there was a ham whose call sign was G4HUP, Golf 4 Hotel Ultra Papa. Which isn't right. Anyway, the call sign's right. I'm just using the wrong phonetics. And uh, Unfortunately, he's a silent key, so I wasn't able to purchase a adapter from him. There's another ham here in the U.S., however. His name is uh, Dave, and he is Kilo Delta 2 Charlie, KD2C. And he is selling the boards originally designed by G4HUP. <clears throat> the idea behind these boards is that they are... Uh, a high impedance input so when you tap into the IF circuitry of your radio you're not putting a load into that very sensitive IF circuit and changing the voltages uh, and making your receiver to go deaf by cutting the voltages in half or, or doing some other things introducing other parts to the circuit that it shouldn't be there this um, the circuit that they sell is a very high impedance so it doesn't load down the circuit as you can see, I'm the proud owner of an IC9100. It's a great radio, shack in the box. I love it. Use it um, a lot on digital modes. And kind of my idea was that I would be able to use the digital modes, such as JT65 and now FT8, and also keep an eye on what's going on on the voice bands and possibly click on those voice bands. Maybe the Boy Scouts of America have something going on or someone else has something going on on the voice bands and maybe I'm missing out because I'm in the digital band and I could switch over. So this pan adapter will help me with one antenna, use my radio, my IC9100, and also see what else is going on out there that I'm missing out on. And that's the whole idea behind this. And here's the SDR2. <coughs> TNC2, sorry, SDR, SDR Play TNC2, and here is the board that is the high impedance board. These are all surface mount chips, and um, it's very inexpensive. It was like $25, I think, off the top of my head. He also sent along with it the wires that you need. One of them is obviously a RF wire, the other one is a power wire because that board needs power. And um, I, mean, I believe that's a oops, input of some kind. <laughs> Bags open. My fault. And the other thing that he sent to me via email when I first asked him about the board he pulled up the service manual and he looked and saw where I need to tap in to this radio to get the IF that we need. He got this out of the service manual for the IC9100. I then went online and found the same service manual and figured out what surface mount chip, <laughs> where that surface mount chip is located in this radio. And it turns out, you probably can't see it, but it's right over here. You got the board upside down. It's actually on the back side of the board, which is great because the top side of the board is covered with stuff and there was no way I was going to be able to solder a wire in. This chip is actually on the back side of the board where there's a little more space, enough space for my solder pin, which I know I probably shouldn't be using that inserts now. Anyway. anyway. There we have it. So, uh, next video, I will show this in operation, I hope. 73 for now.